way, you guys know that this is our bedroom and originally it had no closet, but we added these, um, they're Ikea pack systems and built them in and they give us an insane amount of storage that we didn't used to have in here. And um, if you've looked at the post, this is actually another additional closet. It's a 19 inch pack on its own and it's blocked by the nightstand intentionally because we needed a nightstand and we use it for seasonal stuff. So twice a year before the holidays and after the holidays, we pull out this nightstand, open the door and get all the seasonal stuff out or put the seasonal stuff in. But otherwise we don't go in there, which is why in this video, I'm not gonna open this, but I do want you to know it's not dead space. It's a usable, awesome cabinet that we access and you can see the picture of what we store in there in the post. But I am going to give you a little video tour right now of each of these three um, wider pack systems. This one's mine, this one's mine, and this one's John's. Um, that may or may not be unfair, but it seems to work for the amount of clothes we have. It's mostly my shoes. Um, so I will just show you around and I have like personal pictures and stuff on the sides of these cabinets. So if you see something blurred, it's because it's just like personal stuff that we're not putting on blast stuff. My kids drew pictures, all that stuff. But anyway, you can see that I have my shoe storage here. I did boots from high to low because as you'll see, when I pan up, this is where my long hanging stuff goes and it goes from high to low in the opposite direction. So that really works. I used everyday objects. I had this tray, this tray. Um, this is actually a system I purchased that holds clutches, super simple. This is um, one of my favorite little jewelry boxes for stuff. So the system in here is I put my like everyday stuff I wear the most here and you'll see in the other um, closet I have a pullout system that has more of um, not everyday stuff. So this is like stuff I grab pretty frequently. This is just because it's pretty. I hardly ever wear it. But other than that, um, that's why certain jewelry is in this closet and other stuff's on the other side. You can see I have the purse um, pull out here. It has scarves in the back and purses. Super helpful. Big purses get hung up here. And then as I mentioned, you can see that there's like full length dresses here, um, longer maxi skirts, and then full length um, maxi dresses. Sorry, these are not full length dresses. These are like regular dresses to above the knee. Then we have longer skirts and then maxi dresses. You all probably remember this as my Khaleesi costume. I have had that dress probably 15 years. Um, speaking of dresses I've had forever, this is my wedding dress, but it's not really a fashion tour. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next closet. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna go over here. This is much more of a traditional closet in that it has like a lot of drawers in the bottom of it. I, can, I don't know if that's traditional. It's how we usually use these packs. And then it just has shorter hanging storage up on top. So this is all of my blazers, jackets, vests, um, shorts, skirts, like all of the shorter hanging stuff is in here. Of course, the matching hangers is always a good tip. We buy these little clippy things for the hangers with skirts and then just without the clips for all the blazers and jackets. Then I have this pullout system, which is like other jewelry that's not worn as often. Hair stuff, chapstick, sunscreen, extra glasses I don't wear as much, makeup, all that stuff is in here. Then we have, this is like the, you know, bras, underwear, PJs, socks situation. Then we have the jeans and jean shorts. These are jeans, jeans, these are all jean shorts. Um, down here I have, oh, these are all my tops. Lately, I've been trying this for bodysuits. Just to, to tell myself they're bodysuits, I fold them longer and then I remember, oh, those are bodysuits because half the time I grab something thinking it's a tank top and it's a bodysuit and it confuses me. So this situation has been helpful. Down here, I have all my long sleeve sweaters and shirts. I know there's probably gonna be people who do amazing folds. I'm not that girl. Even though I worked at Express for many years, I just don't do the fancy fold. Um, and this is bathing suits. I now live in a place that bathing suits get a whole drawer. In these systems, you can never have this type of drawer on the bottom of a packs. So you have to do this sort of wire basket is one of the best options that we found. And then we added this. These are like sarongs, cover-ups, two pieces, one pieces. And it just, it works for bathing suits the best. So that's why I have them down here. So now I'm gonna move over to John's. Do, 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 do. Okay, so he also has that wire basket in here. 
This is like bedding and a backpack. <laughs> and all oh, burgers blanket that we'll never get rid of. We just love. So it's like random stuff usually in the wire bin because the drawers are so much like nicer for folding and stuff. They don't like feel as hard when you reach in and grab something. John actually has some shoes in here, although we have other shoes also stored out on the kitchen porch in the wardrobe. It's like a cabinet, an outdoor cabinet out there that we use for shoes. So that picture will be in the post also, but you can see that he has like, you know, various shirts, hats, shoes, everything in here. He's got other um, running stuff, his yoga mat, all this stuff in here. Like this is like athlete John drawer. It's like all his triathlon stuff and his medals, various medals. And then in here we have the pants, belts. Oh, these amazing. They're like um, our odor bags. I'll link those in the post too and talk about them. They're just great for throwing somewhere in. Not to say that these aren't washed. Of course, they're clean and washed, but it's if anything feels stuffy or it's just like not ventilated like these cabinets, it's great to throw those bags in there. So I'll stick a link to those in the post too. And then this is his top drawer. Oh yes, John keeps candy in here. It's his dirty secret. And we have, um, let's see, bathing suits for John, t-shirts, socks, underwear, hats, all the things. And then he also has this hat holder for his like main hats. It's kind of like I have my main jewelry and backup. And then these are his like hanging shirts. He has like sweatshirts and PJs in here. And then he also stores all of our coats, but only in the cold season are they in here. When it is hot, which is most of the year here, these wouldn't even be in here and this would be a lot more spaced out. These would be in um, our luggage under the bed of our son's room in the back of the bed. That's like not a space he would use anyway. And it stores all of our luggage and our winter stuff when we're not using it, which is most of the time, but you're catching us in a little cold time of the year. So we have them out. So that is pretty much the whole tour. Remember again that the um, holiday stuff's in here. We'll link that in the post. All the stuff I mentioned will be in the post. So I hope you enjoyed the closet tour.